The CAC provides two transfer hosts for dedicated file transfer between the Nix engineering cluster or the campus flux cluster. These dedicated transfer hosts allow for faster network connections and do not uh, should be immune from user crashing from running out of memory, uh, heavy CPU usage, etc. Because of this, they only allow certain types of file transfers. They also require the use of two-factor authentication. Two factors provided by the M token system. M tokens are free keychain dongles that have a rotating number that you can pick up from an accounts office. This is the same place you get your M card created. In this case, I'm going to demonstrate using CyberDuck. CyberDuck, available at cyberduck.ch, is a free SCP, S3, uh, several other uh, type of protocols uh, piece of software for both Mac and Windows that supports the two factor authentication. In this case, I'm at cyberduck.ch and I actually need to install it, so I'm going to download the version for my Mac. Say save. Go ahead and unzip the package. And that actually op creates Cyberduck. In my case, I'm actually going to copy Cyberduck to my applications folder, which lets me run it normally on my Mac. So if I open Cyberduck, You can see I've already created a flux endpoint here, but what you can also do is, is you can type in uh, sftp colon slash slash your username at flux dash exfer dot engine dot umich dot edu. Press enter. Uh, your username is your regular umich username, and your password is your normal Kerberos password that you use for Wolverine access. Says as for a one-time passcode, this is now the number off of the M token that you got from the accounts office. So now it shows me my files that I have on the cluster. Uh, I can navigate to different locations. So like right now, I started off in my home directory. If I wanted to go to no backup, I would go to slash uh, no backup, and then my username. Uh, so then you can just download files that you wish. So if I go to my directory, say I wanted to download this, I can just right click on it and say download, download as, download to, etc. Or I can just drag the file to my desktop and it transfers it. Sometimes it'll ask you for information again. In this case, just type in your passcode again. Z download complete. Uh, if you want to upload a file, just drag it into the location that you want it.